So this is an adductor swing. The affected leg is the one that's moving. You're taking it out as far as you feel comfortable, bringing it across the body, nice and smooth. You're looking at doing somewhere between eight and 10 of these. This is a high knee into a lateral reach out. It's good for hip mobility, quad activation, and glute activation. You're looking to do 12 to 15. The toes should be pulled up, pulled up towards the ceiling. So this is an adductor drag. You're gonna take the affected leg out to the side, a foot or two. You're gonna drag it in against the resistance of the floor. This is a useful test to see if your adductor is feeling tight or sore. The isometric ball squeezes, you start off with a ball between your knees. You wanna squeeze your knees together against the ball at around 50 to 70% of your maximum voluntary effort and it should be pain free. If it's not pain free, take the percentage down and the amount of effort you're putting into it down to around 30, 40%. This is long lever adductor holds. This is brilliant for part of your groin rehabilitation. It's more difficult than the short lever holds. The weight should be going through the foot that's on the bench and you should look to hold it initially at least 10 seconds up to around 25, 30 seconds. So this is an adductor pull against TheraBand. The working leg is the one with the band around it. The standing leg should be slightly bent. It should be pulling in with the straight leg, eight to 12 reps as you feel comfortable. So this is uh, a standard squat. You're trying to keep your knees in line with your toes. Go as deep as you feel comfortable. Depending on the exercise program you're following, you're probably gonna be doing something between 12 and 15 body weight. So this is a static lateral lunge. It's excellent for recruiting the quad, which is the one that's bending. And you also get a little bit of a stretch on the outside adductor. So this is an A-lock at the wall. So you're essentially going into a high knee, leaning into the wall, taking the hip up towards 90 degrees, toes pulled up towards the ceiling. As you feel more comfortable, you can pick up the speed and do it in bouts of three. The other thing that we like to do in this stage is add in some plyometrics. Now plyometrics are basically a fancy word for jumping and explosive type activities. So if you have a look on the app, there's some guides there about how to start plyometrics. And really the purpose is just to allow the muscle to contract and relax and absorb the force quickly.